Hi, this is the tutorial for dual check safety user frame setup. The purpose is of setting up user frame in DCS or easy the teaching in real world and also the zone having orientation other than same water level with robot. I have prepared a cell with slanted incoming conveyor. Turn on the cell browser and then expand both DCS options. Before we start set up DCS user frame, we need to set up the user frame in advance. Open user frame 1 setting, and then attach the user frame to the incoming conveyor. Change the location coordinates to 0 after attach to conveyor. After click OK from the user frame setting, we need to register the user frame to DCS user frame. Turn on the DCS user frame from cell browser. Key in the name and user frame number, the user frame coordinates will show automatically. Now, we need to set up the zone with this user frame. Turn on Cartesian position check setting window with DCSX, Y, Z. Change the name of the zone for better understanding during troubleshooting. Don't forget to add the user model of Gripper. If you need the user model tutorial, please refer to my previous DCS tutorial. Set the user frame number according to the number registered previously, and then drag the triad to the edge of the zone. You may input the coordinates directly. Minor tuning the coordinates of the zone to fully cover the conveyor. Please set the zone slightly bigger than the obstacles. Change the mode to restrict mode as the conveyor is the place not allowed robot to enter. We can repeat the same step to set up the pallet zone with user frame. Use user frame 2 for pallet zone.
After done zone setup, we need to apply the DCS setting with teach pendant. Then cycle power the robot controller to compile the settings. After controller is ready, jog the robot and try to enter the restrict zone. During the real world setup, recommended to test it out with every edges of zone to prevent severe accident happened in future. Collided zone will turn black once contact happened. Try out the pallet zone. Tutorial is finished. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.